Today, we celebrate Rosa Parks, the mother of the modern civil rights movement. When we lost this brave hero in 2005, Ohio Congresswoman Joyce Beatty began the journey to champion the first ever Rosa Parks Day. It is recognized annually on December 1st, the date of Ms. Parks' arrest. Rosa Parks had had enough. Her singular action bore a legacy that led in the fight to win the equality and respect that was deserved and long overdue for the black community. The Power of One. Rosa Parks embodied the power of one. Her actions on what would become a historic day became a catalyst for all people, especially Black people across the globe. Rosa Parks took a stand for what was right just by sitting down that day. In the process, her activism forever changed the world. As we recognize the 17th statewide tribute 66 years after she refused to give up her seat on that segregated Montgomery, Alabama bus. Let us recommit ourselves to following in the footsteps of Rosa Parks and the power of one. It is our responsibility to recognize the power of the individual. Therefore, this year's theme is the power of one. You. 66 years ago, Rosa Parks took a seat, which culminated in her taking a stand against segregation and racial discrimination. Her defiant and fearless act of civil disobedience sparked a movement that advanced the cause of justice and equality for all Americans. But Rosa Parks' story did not end with the Montgomery bus boycotts, oh no. She committed the rest of her life to championing civil rights and giving the voice to the vulnerable. Her legacy and the struggle to build a more just America still lives on. For women of color, our fight for equality in our community, our economy, and at the ballot box continues. Today and every day, may we remember what Rosa Parks taught us how the power of one individual can affect change, drive progress, and bend the art of history. It's been 66 years since Rosa Parks stood up by sitting down and sparked a movement that still reverberates today. The power of Rosa Parks lives on each and every day through the people willing to speak up in opposition to injustice, inequity, and cruelty. When asked about her legacy, Rosa Parks said, I would like to be remembered as a person who wanted to be free so other people would be also free. It's safe to say she succeeded. It's her work that made it possible for black women and women of color to not only vote, but to be elected officials ourselves. And it's her work that made it possible for our bold and visionary chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, Congresswoman Joyce Beatty, then a state representative, to establish our nation's first official Rosa Parks Day in Ohio in 2005. Thank you for joining us. And remember, the power of one is in you. So use it. Hi, I'm Congressman Troy Carter. It's been 66 years since Rosa Parks stood by sitting down and sparked a movement that still reverberates today. The power of Rosa Parks lives on each and every day through the people willing to speak up in opposition to injustice, inequity, and cruelty. When asked about her legacy, Rosa Parks said, I would like to be remembered as a person who wanted to be free so other people would also be free. It's safe to say she succeeded. It's her work that made it possible for women of color to not only vote, but to be elected officials themselves. And it's her work that made it possible for Joyce Beatty, then a state representative, to establish her nation's first official Rosa Parks Day in Ohio in 2005. Today, I also think about the Baton Rouge boycott, where their early direct actions inspired boycotts in Montgomery two years later. Every action, every person, every impact, Thank you for joining us. And remember, the power of one is in you. Use it. 
Today, we are proud to join so many others in honoring the legacy and actions of Rosa Parks, who provided a blueprint for the power of one and the importance of individual actions. Now, more than ever, we bear witness to the impact of one person's choice and how personal choices contribute to positive, sustainable progress for our society as a whole. Rosa Parks displayed the power of individual choice when personally deciding to maintain the bus seat she selected. And as history has taught us, society has benefited from her choice. As the COVID pandemic brought with it a multitude of challenges and changes to everyday life, the power of individual choice has gained significant influence on our response as a society. The pandemic loses its stranglehold on our world when we take individual actions to limit its spread. Conversely, it grows and reinvigorates when we consider it someone else's problem. Each and every day we have choices to make that appear simply individualistic, but these decisions not only have consequences for ourselves, they affect our broader society. From individual decisions regarding masks, vaccinations, voting, being more inclusive, joining peaceful protests, or speaking up when injustice is evident, the individual today has the opportunity to assert their power for positive impact. To honor the legacy of Rosa Parks, we at The Ohio State University promote a diverse and inclusive culture that supports individual choice, influence, and activism while never losing sight of our mission to educate on the power of one. This is the power of Rosa Parks, the power of me, you, and every individual to take ownership and make our world a better place. I think there's something inside of all of us, and when the right moment presents itself, we feel this power to make a difference. That's different for everyone. Rosa was not the first person to take a seat for justice. Many people are unaware that a teenage mother by the name of Claudette Colvin made an individual choice to sit in her power just a few months prior. Political strategy dictated a young Claudette was not the right voice to spark a movement for change. Nevertheless, it would be her individual choice, followed by Rosa's, to stand their ground that sparked a movement that has been brewing for decades, a movement that ultimately shaped our very own public transportation system, CODA. Before Rosa Parks and the Montgomery bus boycott, black men were not allowed to be drivers. These types of jobs provided the opportunity to make a good living and support their families. It was an economic decision. It was a workforce discussion that asked, how do we put ourselves in a position to be operators on these vehicles? The fact that 67% of CODA's operators are African-American is powerful. CODA is representative of the type of company that Rosa probably envisioned many generations later. Everything we do now in 2021 and beyond to ensure that we have equity moving forward is directly tied to Rosa Parks. The best way to honor Rosa Parks and her legacy is to find your voice and your passion. What do you see in society that causes you to take pause? When you see something that you think should be changed, whether it impacts you personally or whether you can be part of a change in a the system, then accept the challenge and get involved. Don't be the individual who cheers from the sidelines. Be the individual who makes a choice, an intentional choice, to be a part of something larger than yourself. Because here's the thing, we are all part of our own history. So we need to be active part of that history. If people are gonna write stories about who we are and what we did 10, 15, 20 years, let us start by taking action today so we can write the stories of how we made a change in our local community or in our family. Be someone who paves the way for the next generation to face fewer challenges, access more opportunities, and find their voice. Just as Rosa did for all of us, be a part of the change. Let us meet the moment and continue to harness our individual and collective power, as we've done in Congress, championing our children. $400 billion we allocated for childcare. Historic funding for our historically Black colleges and universities, and a record-breaking $150 billion for affordable housing just to name a few. As chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, 
We thank Rosa Parks for her unyielding commitment and legacy of championing voting rights. We too will continue her legacy through the passage of the John R. Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act. So let us keep building a fair and just nation for all Americans. Never underestimate the power of the individual. Never underestimate the power of one. Thank you. And I'm Congresswoman Joyce Beatty, and I approve this message. Every year, we challenge you to share what the power of one means to you through photography. Here's what you have shared. We thank you for continuing to honor the life and legacy of a true American hero with your actions. Let us never forget the change that can be brought by one individual, the power of one, you. We still have much more to do, and it is our desire to continue to work with young people and give them uh, motivation and encouragement and training to reach their highest potential.